Hello and welcome along to the Races TV. Coming up shortly, we're going to catch up with both Dominic Tournure and Philip Stokes, both coming off their fantastic seasons here in South Australia. But firstly, let's have a look at the diary. On Saturday, our final Metropolitan meeting for the season, we're racing at Morfordville. Nine races on the program. The first will actually be on the park circuit. That's the next heat of the Over the Rainbow Jumping Series. Feature race on the program will be the programmed Lightning Stakes race number eight. On Wednesday, we're racing at Balaclava. And Thursday, well, the diary says Mount Gambia. It won't be Mount Gambia. Fingers crossed it might be Narracourt. The Metropolitan Racing season comes to a close on Saturday and uh, standing before me, the champion trainer without any doubt, Philip Stokes and Dominic Tourneur should be champion jockey. Four and a half wins clear going into the last meeting of the season. Yeah, no, look, we'll still be looking to close it out um, strongly, um, particularly uh, finish it off in style with the uh, listed Lightning Stakes would be nice for Philip Stokes on Buddy Bundy. Yeah, that's the main race on the program on Saturday, Phil. Buddy Bundy, he's now won five from eight. He's doing a good job, isn't he? Yeah, nice horse. He's progressed all the time, and um, this is obviously his hardest test to date, but I'm sure he can take the step. All right. Uh, what do you like about him the most? Oh, look, he's just super consistent. He can race on the speed, he can take a sit, and he runs sectionals. And you've got our Miss Bossy running in the Lightning on Saturday as well? Yeah, well, it depends which Miss Bossy shows up. Um, we're trying to get a bit of black tight with her, obviously, and, you know, if it's wet, she'll be... An each way chance. Uh, Dom, for you, what's been the most satisfi satisfying part of the last 12 months? No, look, just um, it's, it's probably been good just the whole season to come together as it is for Philip Stokes and myself. I'm, you know, I'm happy that Philip supported me. It's uh, good just to see all the team firing and, you know, uh, putting in the work and uh, all the pieces falling into place this season. All right, and Philip, for you, um, what about behind the scenes? We, we know you're the, ma the, the main man, but can you just tell us a bit about your staff as well? Yeah, look, you know, it's all those one percenters, the staff, they do a great job. We've got 12 staff, um, they work very hard behind the scenes, especially my wife. Um, you know, on a Saturday afternoon, when we're over there racing horses, their horses are still getting walked and swum and it just never stops. Um, and also, just travelling horses interstate, we've consistently been doing it well and that's been a big thrill too, and Dom's been riding them. Yeah, OK, and we might just go through the team on Saturday. Um, I'll get you to comment on horses that you've got running, and, and Dom, we're, you're riding one not for Philip. What about race two, number seven, Russian Rocker for David Whitney? Yeah, look, it was an eye-catching run last start. Um, seemed to handle the, the going good, and it finished off quite nicely for Claire Lindop. So, um, you know, if it stacks that form up again, it's got to be an each-way chance. Philip, you've got two runners in race number three, Luxar and Best of Times. Yeah, Lux have trod well going into this race. Um, it's a tough race, this, for a two-year-old. Um, there's good speed in it, which will suit him. He'll be sort of finishing it off. And best of times, blinkers go on for the first time. He's a nice horse too, but he's probably going to step up a bit. You're riding Catalistic in race four, Dom, for uh, Darren Culpin. Yeah, look, I rode it uh, last up, probably about four weeks ago. It's had a slight freshen up. Probably raced a little bit flat that day. Um, is capable on his day, it's not, not a lot of depth in the race, so you know, hopefully the freshen up's done him well. Do you know anything about the horse you're riding in race five, R team? No, I don't. Um, look, the manager picked the ride up. Look, obviously it won a maiden sort of last start, last campaign. It's first up from the spell, has trial well coming into it, so you know, my manager was quite uh, bullish about its chances. All right, Belfast boy for Gordon Richards in race six. He's one of those horses that can bob up. Yeah, look, you know, he's yeah, two of a Belfast boy. Look, last time I rode him, I won on him. Um, a little while ago, I haven't been on his back since then. Um, drawn the inside. Look, you know, if he happens to turn up, um, he, you know, he can put him away if he wants to. Philip uh, Scarpolino in race seven. What did you make of his run first up? I was actually quite happy with his run first up. He made good ground late. Um, scratched him from today because he drew wide. Draws wide again. Um, oh, look, he, he'll be running on. It'll be an each way chance and probably looking for further. And Dom, uh, you're right in the last. Marion type for David Jolly. Yeah, look. Probably been a bit disappointing this prep. Um, I rode it the other day um, after Stubby had ridden it, and Stubby probably didn't think it felt that great. And when I rode it, you know, probably didn't give me the greatest feel. Not sure whether it's got issues and that, but you know, it, ha it is a horse with ability, but hasn't uh, hasn't come up this prep. So we we'll just have to wait and see, really. All right. Well, boys, good luck on Saturday. Let's hope you can finish the season on uh, the right note that you deserve to. It's been a fantastic 12 months. Philip, well done to you. You are the champion trainer, and Dom. It should be a formality. Yeah, no, thank you, Terry. Good on you, Phil. No, thank you, Terry. OK, finally, let's have a look at some of these races at Morfittville on Saturday. Race number one, as I mentioned at the top of the program, it's the next heat in the Over the Rainbow Jumping Series. As you can see there, the weights are headed up by King Triton. He's raced here with good success in the past. Race number two on the program, nice to see David Bowther honoured at Morfittville on the weekend by the South Australian Jockey Club. Uh, his final day as a co-trainer with his son, Ryan, 
and that's race number two. Wouldn't it be nice to see them win that race with Spirit of Endeavour? The feature race is race number eight, the programmed Lightning Stakes. And uh, Buddy Bundy, well, he will be hard to beat there, right up the top for Philip Stokes and Dominic Tourneur. We'll see you again next week for The Races TV. There's nothing like a day at the races.